Hi, I'm Mrs. Poxon, and I've taught kindergarten here at Harry Sears for many years now. I'm very excited that you're joining us today for our Ready, Set, Learn video. Today, I'm going to show you some activities from our kit that you can practice with your student at home to um, really help your child's uh, fine, fine muscles in their hands. We call it fine motor skills. So I'm going to show you a number of things to help strengthen these muscles in our hand. Uh, this will help when your child comes to, kinder comes to kindergarten so that they can use um, pencils, uh, they can use an eraser, they can use scissors, glue, crayons, a number of things. All right, so today, the first thing I'm going to show you from our kit is the Play-Doh. You can have your child practice rolling the Play-Doh in their hands like that. They can also practice pinching it. All of these movements are really working our um, small hand muscles. Okay, I also, I also, we have a puzzle in our kit and it's a great idea to work with your child uh, putting the puzzle pieces together. Make sure that your child is doing some of it as well. Sometimes as parents we want to help a lot because we see them struggling, but it's really important that even if they're struggling with the puzzle, you can help uh, show them the piece and have them snap it into place. Okay, another thing we have from our kit is some very, um, very colorful sidewalk chalk. And kids love um, using this sidewalk chalk. It's, got, it's nice and thick and it's got a very big grip, or they're, they're thick so they can grip it with their hand and right on the sidewalk or right on the cement near your home. Okay, so today I'm going to just talk about a few pages from our Ready, Set, Learn uh, booklet that we're sending home in our kit. Sending with the kit. Okay. Okay, so every kit will have a book called Ready, Set, Learn, Kindergarten Readiness. You can find that in your bag. And uh, there is a page in this book talking about the hand and finger skills that I had mentioned before, the fine motor skills. There's lots of good examples that you can practice with your child at home. One of the other important things that we want to have you practice with your child before they come to kindergarten is their pencil grip. Pencil grip. So there's a page in the book that shows um, what developmental grip your child should have by the time they come to kindergarten. I'll demonstrate it to you now with a pencil from the kit. So with when we hold our pencil, we don't want to be grabbing it up too far along the pencil. We want to have it down near the tip. We want to make sure that we have a hole with uh, our child's hand and that the pencil is resting on their middle finger and they're, and they're pinching it with the thumb and their index finger. So you can have your child practice doing that before they come to school. Okay, one of the last things we're going to work on from our book is the last two pages, there's some cutting practice. There's straight line cutting practice and there is, on the very last page, curvy line cutting practice. So I'll show you both of those pages today after I talk about how to use scissors. So um, parents, I know it's a little scary when our, kid, our kids first get out their scissors, but you can supervise them while they're doing this. Please make sure that they're putting their thumb in the smaller hole and their, two, their middle and index finger go in the bottom hole, holes. And when we are cutting, we're practicing the up and down, up and down motion. So just to demonstrate, I will show you on the cutting practice page with straight lines. So you can have your child start where the scissor uh, picture is and cut to towards the bunny. Notice I'm cutting towards, I'm cut, sorry, I'm cutting away from me, not towards me. I'm cutting away from myself towards the frog. I'm cutting away from myself towards the chicken. Okay, and again with the cutting practice for the curvy line, starting at, okay, two, two further activities you can practice were with cutting practice with your child at home is uh, just getting some flyers from your local paper and cutting out pictures or having your child cut out pictures of healthy foods. Um, we're going to be learning about healthy foods in kindergarten. So you can have them cut out pictures of things like tomatoes. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about is have your child practice using their fingers to twist off their glue lid 
and twist up the glue. That would be very good practice. And then they can practice using that glue to glue on the healthy foods they just cut out. So we're doing two things using our scissors and our glue from the kit. One last thing you can work on is there's a little um, colorful paper booklet pad in your kit. You can use a crayon from the kit to draw a shape like a triangle and you can just have just have your student or have your child practice cutting around that shape. Again, just make sure they're using the up down up down motion. Oops. Okay. And if you want to they can also use the glue again and glue it onto the paper where they were gluing the food, the healthy foods onto, too. Okay, and that's it. So just using our scissors and using all the things that we can do to strengthen our fine motor skills. Thank you for watching our video.